Today is the 26th Sunday of the year, Year B, and we are invited to reflect on the theme of inclusivity. How we could hinder God's work by excluding others. The first reading from the book of Numbers presents to us 70 people who received the gods, who received God's spirit, even though they were not there when God initially gave his spirit to the chosen ones. And the gospel of Mark presents to us the apostles who were complaining because some people who, be, who did not belong to their numbers, they were doing miracles in the name of Jesus. And Jesus asked not to stop them. Our reflections, I will present three points for you for our reflections. The first is goodness has no frontiers. When people are doing good, we should not stop them simply because they do not share our religion, they do not share our culture, or they are not from our country. In fact, for those of us who work in dialogue, this is one of the passages of Mark that um, encourages us about dialogue of life and dialogue of social action. We are all people of goodwill who are doing good things, who are helping others, who are sharing the gospel values, are also invited to join us and to work with us, and we to work with them. Because the spirit of Jesus is given to everyone. Jesus has come to save humanity. And we are just fortunate to be one of those who know him by the goodness of God, who have been given the gift of faith, and we are members of the church. But the church is not an exclusive club. Pope Francis invites us to enlarge our tents, to open the door, because there are many people out there who are also doing great things and we need to be audacious and share the values with them, share the gospel values with them, because that is what we are called to do. And also this gospel of Mark from the ninth chapter of Mark challenges us to our tendency to sectarianism and to exclusion. There are times when, without being aware of it, we enter into this tendency of sectarianism. We have a little group and we feel that they have everything correct, that this little group is better than all the others, either because they share our common language, our common culture, our common way of reasoning and thinking, and instantly, sometimes without, not, without giving a chance to others, we conclude that they are not as good as we are. We conclude that we are better than them. I think Jesus is calling us this Sunday to look at this tendency and to open up, to actually make a deliberate effort to get to know others. Because those who are not against us are for us. And I think this is pertinent in Nigeria especially, where we tend to enter into the ethnic divisions and we think our group is the best. I think this Sunday invites us as men and women of faith in Jesus Christ that the goodness of Jesus resides in many places, in many people, in many cultures, and across the world. And this brings me to the last point, which touches on the synod of synodality. When Pope Francis invites us to enlarge our tents, the church, as I said earlier, is not an elite club. The church is for everyone. And there is an invitation to let everyone feel part of the church. We know that Jesus has the values given to us and we must uphold the values both in terms of doctrine, in terms of moral and in terms of the faith handed over to us. Nonetheless, 
we must be open enough to receive those who are different from us. As a missionary, I have traveled and I have been culturally shocked by the people I meet, the way they believe, the way they receive communion, the way they sit. And I tend to say, oh my God, this is not acceptable. But when I look deeper and I see that these same people have some values that are deep in terms of the way they help their neighbors, the way they love and receive visitors, then I know that Jesus perhaps look deeper than the surface. So this is a, a reminder for us that those who are not against Jesus, we too should welcome them as brothers and sisters and look with them at the values that unite us rather than the issues that divide us. And I repeat with Jesus, those who are not against us are for us. May God bless you.